Hello everyone, this is Sheila from Calla Lily Dreams Jewelry and I'm just going to show you a few things that I'll be will be coming up on the um, sale on Thursday, the sec November 2nd at 3 p.m. And I hope you will uh, subscribe and watch that show with me. So here we go, just a few things I was going to show. Okay, this is spiny oyster. I keep going to lose my voice. <clears throat> there we go. You can see it. Sterling silver spiny oyster ring. Can't remember what the size of this one was, but uh, I'll have that for you. Okay. Then I also have sterling silver turquoise and onyx ring. And I think this was like a size maybe five, not positive. It's very nice. And I can't remember if this one's signed. I don't believe this one was signed. There you go. I also have this uh, good luck necklace, onyx and um, sterling silver. Oops. To the back and the front. I believe this is an 18 inch chain on this. Quit unfocusing. And I have another sterling silver necklace. This one is uh, blue topaz and a heart of um, turquoise in sterling silver. Get it up a little closer. And I put this on, I believe this is a box chain that I put this one on. Pretty pretty. Why this thing keeps messing with my focus. Okay. Let's see. And I have an abalone in sterling on a box chain. Really pretty abalone. And there's the back. And I believe this is just marked 925. I don't have anything else on it. I also have kind of a tribal, tribal necklace here. Lay it down because it's kind of big. I think this was about a 20 inch, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's 18. 22, 22 inch. It's made out of bovine bone. I believe these are also the bovine bone and then has uh, some antiqued uh, silver stations. I'm gonna to have to check this. I don't believe it was sterling, but I can check. But it's really pretty, the design. Really like the design. And it has a barrel clasp on it. Come on, shoot it. There we go. It's lovely. Okay. I also have a torque, sterling silver torque. Let's see, put it down here and you can see it better. This one is on the smaller side. I can wear it and I've got a pretty thick neck, but it, you know, it's too uncomfortable. It's just 
not quite going to work. So you're going to want a thinner or smaller neck than I do. But it's very pretty. And I believe this was... I believe this just has sterling on it also. But very nice. Torque. Let's see. Also got a mother of pearl, put it down here. Mother of pearl pen brooch with C clasp. And I don't believe this to be, oh, focus. On it, there we go, now you can see it, C clasp. And I don't believe it's Victorian because this pin is not long enough. Um, but I do believe it's it's quite old. Okay, the mother of pearl brooch. Very pretty. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I have a sterling silver, and I'm not sure what you would call the, get it to all lay right here. It wants to be kind of funny sometimes. Just got to get it just right. There we go. Sterling silver bracelet. And this one is without the clasp. I wish I so much clasp. It's about a seven inch. But very pretty. Looks nice on. It's probably at least well, about a quarter of an inch wide. It's a nice bracelet. Of course, has the lobster clasp. Just sterling. Yes. Okay. I have a beautiful bangle. This one is a Tasco bangle. You can see it signed right down there. Let's see if we can get it up close. Tasco, Mexico. Let's see if that looks good. Put it on their matter. There we go. Come on, camera, don't wiggle. Okay, very pretty. The design goes all the way around it. I can get it on me, maybe, but I wouldn't want to chance it. <laughs> Beautiful design. Pretty heavy, too. Okay, that one. This one's lovely. Sure hope you'll all join me for my sh first show. I've been nervous, I haven't even hardly slept. <laughs> okay, this is a tax go also. It's a beautiful abalone bracelet. I'm thinking that if I'm gonna get too washed out here. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. There we go. And this is the latch. It opens like that. It does have the uh, sa safety clasp or chain. This is a very beautiful abalone. Let's go. Sterling silver. My lights might be washing it out a little bit. It's got a lot of color. Very nice. Okay. That will be coming up. 
I think I've picked out several nice things for you to see. Some of them uh, I've went back and forth on a lot. Couldn't decide what to show and what not to show. <laughs> and this one is a Taxco buckle bracelet. And this one, I believe I can get it on. Yeah, I've got a seven inch wrist and I can get it on, but I don't know, I would say more of a, it is adjustable though. You can adjust these here to make it smaller, bigger, whichever you need. But it's very nice. Let's see if we can see the signature in there for you. Of course not. There we go. Okay. I love this. It's so pretty. Okay. There you go. All right, what else do we have? I have a bracelet that I've had for years. I believe this was like back in the back in the eighties. It is a um, vintage marcasite. I'm gonna try turning one of these lights out. I'm thinking. Maybe a little too bright, maybe. Uh, maybe that's better. Anyway, it's very pretty. Marcosite and onyx bracelet. A lot of detail in this one. And all the marcosites are present. I think it was worn once or twice. I don't think it was worn very much. It's pretty small for me. Being very cooperative today, is it? I mean, that won't be coming up too. It's very pretty. My focus is just being terrible. Okay. Another pretty bracelet. This one is uh, blue sapphire and diamond. There, I don't think there's very many diamonds. You know how they make these with just a few little tiny diamonds in them. It's very pretty. I was kind of surprised about what they go for though. But it's very pretty. Sterling silver and I think it does have a mark on it, but I can't remember what it is. Very nicely made though. It's really, really, really smooth. Just barely move it. And I'm, come on. You're not being cooperative at all. Sorry about all the technical difficulties. <laughs> not wanting to cooperate with me today. All right, let's see. Have a beautiful pink uh, jade. I thought that at first this was rose quartz, but it's not. It's pink jade. And the blue um, are just uh, glass. I believe this is about, I think, a, well, we'll see how much it goes here. About a 20 inch, 18 to 20. You could probably add rings to it and uh, make it any size you, if you needed. It. It's really cold. It's very pretty. Wish the camera wasn't wa washing it out so much though.
Okay. This one is white jade and it's on a cord and the cord is adjustable so you can pull it to whatever size you want it, have it hang long or have it hang short. And it's nephrite and white jade. The green just doesn't want to show up like it is, but it's kind of a moss green. So it's really not showing up well today for some reason. Make sure I adjust my camera before the show. Very heavy. And let's see, I have some Tasco silver, uh, I don't know if you'd call them a disc. I'm not sure what you would call them, but they are um, sterling silver. And they are And you're not gonna be able to read it, are you? Let's try this one. Maybe this one's better. Tasco. Focus, little puppy. There you go. Tasco, Mexico. And they're just a nice half hoop, nice uh, wide half hoop. Okay, some of these things I showed you on another video, so I'm probably not going to just throw those in, but uh, I have a very nice um, picture jasper. Uh, this is Awahi. It's just called Awahi Picture Jasper. If I remember correctly. I have to look at my notes. It's marked SJ, and I'm not sure who SJ is. I'll see if I can find anything out. But it's very pretty. A lot of really pretty Jasper. And the heart. I love the heart. It's cold today. Yeah, I suppose you could wear it either way. And it is also sterling. Oh no, this is not sterling. This one is um, just gold. Looks like somebody made this one. Very pretty. I also have a set of beads here, and this one has a barrel clasp. And I believe I tested, I know a lot of these are agate, but then some of them were um, jade, jadeite, agate, uh, gosh, I've forgotten already, nephrite, I think. I'll have to let you know for sure what all of them are, but it's a beautiful, beautiful necklace. Quite long. I'll have all the measurements for you later. Very pretty. You could double it up if you wanted to. Very pretty. It's a heavy one too. Remember if these, I don't think these were signed except, well, maybe right there. I'm not sure what it says though. I'll let you know. 
nice hoops though. They're almost like a, a uh, twisted rope. I guess you would call it a twisted rope pattern. These are pierced. I'm gonna look closer for you here. There we go. Very nice. All right. I also have some Coco Pelli. And these are these are signed um, T Billy. Coco Pelli on them. 925 Sterling. Come on, focus yourself. Oh, this is different. There. Good grief. And these are pierced. And I have some. Simon Seabag electroplate earrings. And these are kind of cool. I think they are anyway. Let's see. Don't know if I've got a thing that they'll fit on. Does it have to be upside down? Yeah, I'm gonna have to upside down to get them on there. Big, puffy, modernist looking, but they're old. And they really got a glare. Come on. There we go. Big, puffy squares. And again, these are Simon Seabag. I thought they were really cool. Here's the back. They are signed. Let me see if I can show the signature. Yeah, there we are. Let's see if we can get a signature that you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's a big ass Simon Seabag. Okay. And if any of you like Trafari, I have a pair of Trafari earrings. These are nice hoops, um, filigreed hoops. They're really pretty. Oh, come on. There we go. And these are a clip-on. They're really pretty either way. Love the design. Very delicate design. And these are clips. They just snap like that. Crown Trafari. Uh, I don't believe these are Crown Trafari. I think they're just Trafari. A ring, a jade, pink jade and spinel ring. And sterling silver, of course. And this one is signed. Uh, I have to look at it. I have it written down. I'm not going to remember everything, obviously. Really pretty pink jade. And I was thinking this was a CZ, CZ, but it is a spinel. And this is a pretty big one. This one is, 
gosh, this might be a might be a nine or a ten. Very pretty though. Different. Is a Mojave pearl and so sterling, and it is some thick, thick sterling, <laughs> really thick. I believe this is a size eight. Oh, camera. I think it's because it keeps bouncing and going off focus. Get the pearl up close. There you go. And there's a lot of silver on this one. Really pretty pearl. And this one is. I don't believe this one is not signed, but great, great ring. Large and in charge. Okay. Okay, let's see. I have this one is kind of curious because it's beautiful. Sterling silver clasp. And these just just test as glass. But the bottom one tested as black tourmaline. All the rest tested as glass. It's very, very pretty. This is about 18 inch, I believe. Pretty luscious. Okay. I've got a little dainty Melifalori necklace also, but down here you kind of see, hopefully. Very dainty, it has the, um, gosh, I don't remember what this chain's called. Top of my head. But it's really pretty. And this one is very dainty. That's the barrel clasp for it. Very little, little clasp. The chain. The chain has some wear. It is old. Didn't test these beads. They're very pretty design. It's just very dainty. Really pretty. Okay. That will be coming up. Oh, I have a also have a cuff bracelet here. Harley Davidson cuff bracelet. And this is all sterling silver. There we go. And this one does. Yeah, this one does fit me. This one does fit me. But it did, I mean, it just fits me really nice, I think. Um, probably could go even just a hair, a hair bigger. But I thought that was pretty cool. And it's, it's, I think about 20, 28 grams. Oh, I got to clean this. It's got a sticky residue on the back of it. I need to clean. 
And I believe this one was also, yeah, this is also a Tasco. Get that. Texco, Mexico. Let's see if I can get it. It's always going to be upside down, isn't it? And backwards. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's just always going to be upside down and backwards. Very hefty. Nice bracelet, though. Have, I think I showed that in another thing. Another very nice lapis lazuli necklace and bracelet. And the bracelet goes with it, but it's not. Um, or I should say it doesn't go with it. It's not, um, it can be a set or not a set and it's not exactly alike. It's just kind of looked good together. But this one's a Bars. There's the tags of Bars. And this is just a stretch. Lapis. This one almost feels a little raw. And then the necklace. And the necklace could be adjusted. It has quite a big uh, extender on it. That's very pretty. Nice lapis. And sterling silver. I believe I tested these these uh, pretty little stations here, and they were sterling. It's got the S clasp and uh, long extension. It's a very pretty, nice lapis. Not used to having my camera this way. I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> At least we hope I'll get the hang of it. <laughs> Don't want to annoy people. All right. And I'm probably selling them separate. Unless, well, I'll ask your opinion if you want me to sell them separate or together. And I have this adorable little set. This is the bracelet. This is vintage. Um, enamel. Gold tone. Has the uh, flip clasp there. And this is not signed but I thought it was so pretty, just so dainty. Very pretty bracelet. And the necklace. And this is a pretty small one, if I remember right. But it's white enamel, rhinestone, and um, kind of an antique gold and a hook clasp. And you could make this as large or as small as you wanted, depending on where you set it. It's a tight one too. But there's the necklace. Thought it was really dainty and pretty. Very pretty. And I have an earring. <laughs> It goes with it, but it's just one earring. So 
if anyone does buy this set, I will um, just throw in the earring in case you find one like it or um, and the screw back in case you find one like it or want to use it for extra parts if you lose a piece or something sometime. It's really cute. Really, really cute. Reminds me of spring. All right. Okay, I think I'm going to quit. I still have a few more things, and I may add some more. And uh, let's see what I can find. So hopefully um, I'll see you all at my um, first show on November 20, or excuse me, November 2nd at 3 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.